technical assistance program for sustainable energy in the Caribbean poised to help the Caribbean achieve renewable energy goals. Details to this story and more in the National Report. Welcome back. With the details to the news from Monday, November 11, 2019, I am Sherry Ann Noel. Policy Information Capacity and Finance. These are the three expected areas of results under the program Technical Assistance for Sustainable Energy in the Caribbean, TAPSEC, as part of efforts to ensure access to all Cariforum citizens to modern, clean and reliable energy supplies at affordable and stable prices. Officials from the program were part of a recent two-day forum on technology exploration at the Radisson Beach Resort. It brought together more than 50 experts in marine energy, representatives of international agencies and researchers to advance their agenda and improve the environment for a cost reduction strategy for marine renewable energy. TAPSEC's program leader Simon Zellner told the Government Information Service the program is well poised to play a key role in reinforcing the region's new low carbon development policy. We want to see at the end, and this is the, the second thing which where the, 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 the region would benefit also, is we see, want to see real projects, investment projects. We want to see solar PV installations on the ground, we want to see wind power, we want to see ocean technologies at least on a first advanced stage from the project development side here. So that's our main interest, to really make a change and um, working on the, policy to, uh, uh, on the policies and legislation, on the regulatory framework, which allow for these investments then later on. He says TAPSEC is satisfied with the role of CARICOM and stakeholders to create awareness and seek options towards the implementation of renewable energy power. Very satisfied. Um, it always takes a little while to get such a big project started. We have um, a volume of 15.3 million euro for technical assistance, but um, we are in a stage where we really reach out now to the CARICOM member states. Uh, we work also with the Dominican Republic where we do the work actually on the ground, where we are engaging with project developers, with national ent entities, and we have established a really well and close relation to key regional institutions, such the Caribbean Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency, CRE, the Caribbean Development Bank, CrossQ, and so on. So I think we are really on a good way and I'm really satisfied at the moment. Moving along, Grenada stood 34-member OECS swim team beat all the odds to ensure that the country retains the OECS swim title for the fifth consecutive year. The victorious team returned home Sunday night accompanied by Sports Minister Senator Nolan Cox, who was on hand to witness the team's performance over three days of competition. The Grenada Amateur Swimming Association says following three days of intense competition, Grenada remained triumphant against the OECS counterparts, ending the competition with 1,249 points, followed by St. Lucia with 1,121.5 points, St. Vincent in third with 1,116, and Tiga with 794 and St. Kitts and Nevis with 57.5 points. The team also established nine new OECS records and walked away with five age group titles. President of GASA, Perron Johnson, who also accompanied the team, highlighted that the realization of OECS championship for the fifth consecutive year is a team effort. The 2020 OECS Swim Championship will head to St. Lucia for 2020. Grenada looks forward to the establishment of the National Aquatic Facility in order to be considered as a host venue in the near future. This is the National Report. More news after the break. Did you join the public service on or after February 22, 1985 and have since retired? This might be important to you. Government understands that the NIS pension may be insufficient to take care of your needs. So, while it awaits the court's ruling on the matter of pension for public officers, government has taken action to protect your quality of life so that you can take care of your needs in the meantime. Persons who joined the public service on or after February 22, 1985 and serve continuously in an established position for a minimum 26 years and 8 months and retired at age 60 may be eligible to receive an advance payment which when combined with NIS, represents 70% of their last salary. For more information, call or visit the Pension Secretariat in the Department of Public Administration, Ministerial Complex, 440-3767.
Welcome back. Grenada joined its Commonwealth counterparts in commemorating Remembrance Day on Sunday. The day is observed annually as a memorial day to mark the end of the First World War and to honor members of the armed forces who died in the line of duty. Traditionally, Remembrance Day is recognized on the 11th of November. However, since the 11th fell on a Monday, the procession and wreath lane was held on Sunday. Members of the Royal Grenada Police Force, cadets, nurses, pathfinders and girl guides march from the fire station to the Sir Eric Matrugiri Botanical Gardens as part of the observance. The Reed Lane was followed by a short blessing. Governor General Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade, Prime Minister Dr. Wright Honorable Keith Mitchell, Acting Commissioner of Police Edwin Martin and other dignitaries were present at the short ceremony held at the Sir Eric Matrugiri Botanical Garden. And that story just brought an end to the National Report for Monday, November 11, 2019. On behalf of the entire news and production team, I am Sharia Noel, thanking you for viewing.